There are four types of go-kart brakes. Five if you count your feet. Let's talk about them. First up, scrub brakes, usually found on inexpensive go-karts, uses metal paddles to contact the rear tires for friction to slow down. Looks kind of like this. Not very efficient, tends to wear the tires down. They start to look like this, and then like this. After scrub brakes, we have band brakes. Very popular option also on inexpensive go-karts. It uses a drum and a band around the drum for friction to slow it down. Here is a band going around the drum. Some people refer to these as drum brakes, but they're actually called band brakes. If you have band brakes and have trouble braking, check out my video on band brake fix. Next up, drum brakes. Drum brakes use a drum on the outside and pads or shoes on the inside. They can be mechanical or hydraulic. Here is a set of mechanical drum brakes. I do not endorse any of these, just an example. And we got disc brakes. Disc brakes also can be mechanical or hydraulic. They use a disc around a caliper and you pull the linkage and the caliper closes is the manual mechanical version. It looks kind of like this. And for hydraulic, it uses hydraulic fluid and a master cylinder to push the caliper closed to push the pad onto the disc. It looks kind of like this. Also have to mention there is a variation of the band brake where you use the band on the clutch. It looks kind of like this. I don't prefer this method as if the chain breaks you will have no stopping power, but some people have a lot of success with it. You put the band around the clutch. Attach your linkage there. Thanks for watching. Here's an example of good band brakes. Subscribe, pretty please. It costs you nothing.